This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on February the 13th, 2017. Today we talk about antivirus, anti-malware. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. Okay, good afternoon, folk. It's one o'clock and time to start again. Actually, it's one one, but... Well, <laughs> don't be arguing with me. I'll give you a clout. <laughs> um, today, we're going to review and talk about um, anti-malware stuff. It's time we talked about it again. Um, we've got three things that I want to uh, talk about today. Uh, ADW Cleaner. Uh, malware bytes, and we're going to talk uh, quite a bit about Windows Defender. So let's start off with uh, ADW uh, Cleaner. ADW Cleaner. Okay, and uh, if you just put in a Google search, ADW Cleaner, the first entry is where you can download ADW Cleaner. It's from Tools LIB Downloads. Should we use that instead of CCleaner, you're saying? Um, this is different than CCleaner, and I'm going to explain how in a minute. So we're going to go here and download um, ADW Cleaner, and there's a big Download Now button there. And we'll just download that, and you'll see that uh, it wants to save it, and it's going to, I want it to be saved in downloads. Okay, so it's going to save it as ADW Cleaner 6.043, and it's an executable, so we'll tell it to save it there. And in it comes, and there it is. Now, I'll get rid of this for a second here, and we will now go to where I put it, Downloads. Would it not put it in Downloads even if you didn't tell it that? Um, I was, yeah, I, I was, uh, I'm not sure why it prompted me for where it wants it. I know why, because I had, the last download downloaded folder I used was uh, presentations on the desktop. Okay, and it prompted me to go back and do it in downloads, and that's where it's downloads wants to be. So it prompted me to do that. Can you make a icon? Um, there is no point. There is no point for it, uh, and I'll explain why as we go along with this. So there's my there's my download. I have uh, my downloads folder fixed up so that it shows me the last download that I did. And there it is, ADW Cleaner. Um, now, ADW Cleaner does not install itself into anything. It's a standalone program. And that's a good thing. Because if something takes over your computer and you're having trouble getting it to, to even run at all. Let's say it does run, but it's, it's really difficult to get it to run. Uh, stuff opens up in the background and blah, blah, blah. You just can't get anywhere. A standalone program is what you want because first the first thing that a malware might do is try and disable, disable any anti-malware programming that you might have. It, it can easily uh, disable AVG, ASUS, or uh, I'm sorry, not ASUS, uh, Avast, um, and uh, sometimes it can even disable Windows Defender, but we'll talk about that when we get to Defender. If the program is not installed, then it cannot be disabled. Okay, if it's a standalone program, it's not installed, so it can't be disabled. 
This is a good thing. Let's run the program. We'll double click on ADW Cleaner and it just wants to prompt you to say yeah I'm okay. Now it's loading up and you know what? I didn't know this until today but it is now part of Malwarebytes and this is a good thing. And is this a free program? It's a free program. Because didn't Malwarebytes go to a, pre, to a pay? No, I'm no it's still free. It's still free. It will prompt you. It will bug at you to be paid, but it's still free. We'll get to that when we, uh, uh, yes? Is malware still a, what's my call program, standalone? Yes. Oh, no, it's not standalone. It installs on your computer. Okay? This is a standalone program. And now we're going to talk about why that's a good thing. Because... Like I said, if it was installed on the computer, then a piece of malware can disable it. It will go through the registry and say, what's installed here? What's in the run once um, registry? Okay. And, oh, there's malware bytes. Let's just turn it off. Okay. So now you're unprotected. But that's not the case with a standalone program. There's nothing in the registry to say that this thing is running until you actually activate it. Okay? So just for the sake of fun, let's scan this computer. It will not take long. It's gone to the internet to find a database of, uh, of things it knows about. And now it's searching all the folders where it's likely that things might be hiding. It's searching in temp folders. It's searching in in uh, in um, registry. in the registry. It's searching everywhere likely where things might be hiding. Um, and this will take a minute or two, but not long at all. See how fast it's done here. It's it's got to the web browsers already, and it's found four threats. I have not run ADW Cleaner on this computer in a couple of months. Okay? But it's found things. So now it's waiting for an action here. And at this point, you'll see that it's found four things on the registry keys that it doesn't like. And I'm going to see if I can expand this just a little bit. And we'll see if we can. Uh, there's dog pile. Yeah, that I went. I went. Dog pile is a search engine, and I went there uh, about a month ago just to see if dog pile was still active. Um, and lo and behold, it loaded something from dog pile it didn't like. So there it is. Uh, now, if there were other things, other if it found folders where malware was hiding, you'd see in, along with the registry results, you'd see folders. If it found something in the temp files of your browser, either Internet Explorer or Chrome or, or uh, any other browser you might have, if it found something in that temp folder, it would also show you that, yes, I found something in the browsers. Okay? At this point, now, you saw how long that took. It took less than two minutes. That's fast, folks, and that's, us that's usually all it takes. Now, I recommend ADW Cleaner. If all of a sudden your computer becomes less responsive, slow, sluggish, um, you've, gotten, you've started to get pop-ups from some place, um, in all likelihood something has gotten into it, and in all likelihood, ADW Cleaner will be able to find it and disable it. Which buttons are you pushing on the keyboard to get this to act? Oh, I just, all I did was I double clicked on the program that was downloaded into downloads. And all of this started to happen. Scan self-explanatory. 
clean, self-explanatory. We'll look at that, okay? And it, it will produce a log file at the end of it all to tell you what it did. So at this point, I am just simply going to go ahead and I'm going to tell ADW Cleaner to clean my computer. It's going to tell me that it's going to close everything and it's going to take care of these registry mistakes. Okay? So we'll just go ahead and we'll do that. And there you go. It's finished. It was that quick. This is just uh, telling me what it's done. It's, it's removed unwanted programs. And uh, it's saying that, um, it, well, it's giving you a couple of instructions on what to do to keep yourself safe. Always download a program from the official link. Okay? That's common sense. I've talked about that ad nauseum. Always go to the, to the official link to the provider's website to get your programs. Don't go to third-party websites. Uh, do not go through the next fast. Stop. Read. Understand what it's telling you. It will tell you things like, We've noticed that you've downloaded and installing this program. We think there are 30 other programs in this package that you might like. Next. You have to tell it no. Don't do that. Because they're turned on by default. They'll tell you. But if you're going next, 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 you won't see it. Enable detection of cups in your antivirus, pups, possible unwanted programs. And that's why it's talking about malware bytes, because that's what malware bytes does best, finds pups, possible unwanted programs. Okay, so that's all that's doing there. Just reminding you, now it's telling you that you have to do a restart, and when you do that, it will close everything down and restart the computer. Hopefully this will not, and it doesn't take long. Yes? Do we take malware bytes off then? No, no. You'll use this in, um, along with, because, because malware bytes is an installed program, it can be turned off. It can be messed with by malware. Um, and so what you've done with this ADW cleaner is remove as much as you can before you go to malware bytes, and in all probability, 99% of the time, it will remove a program that has messed with your malware bytes. And so when you restart the computer, as I'm going to do right now. Is this only good on Windows 10? It's good for everything. That's good. Seven, it will even work on XP. Will it work on a Mac? Hmm? Will it work on a Mac? No, it doesn't work on a Mac because a Mac doesn't need it. You say that. I say that. So now it's, uh, it's starting up, and there is the log file that it created telling you that it, it, uh, it removed these, uh, updated the program and removed certain programs that it had found as uh, unnecessary possibly unwanted, or possibly malware. So now you're done. So you just click off that page. You don't have yeah, to you click don't have to do anything. It's just telling you what it did. What it did. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now at this point, if you were in such a, such a state with malware on your computer, that you're, it's possible that uh, ADW Cleaner did not get it all. It's a very stripped down version of a malware cleaner, what it's going after is it's going after the big things that it can find right away. Okay? And those are usually the things that are going to mess you up the worst. So the next thing you want to do is you want to have installed um, Yeah, you should restart the pages. That way you don't have to search for everything. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Let's download that again and we'll say no. And we'll just close this. Okay, the next thing we want to do is download and install malware bytes. 
Now I haven't had malware bytes installed on this computer in quite a while, so um, I'm going to run through the install, and uh, I might do a couple of minutes of having it run through a scan. But it, everybody here got malware bytes? Yes? Hmm? Uh, hands? Okay. Then you know what the installs um, or, or what the the scan is going to look like. Okay. But we'll just uh, we'll just go to malware bytes. Malwarebytes.com. Is that right? It used to be malwarebytes.org. If it has this giant robot, then yeah, that's right. Then it's right. It's yeah. 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 Okay. So we'll do the download. And here again, it's. Uh, it's prompting me to download, but it's telling me what the name of the program is, mb3-setup-consumer. Uh, Consumer uh, is going to be the free one. Um, and we will go ahead and save that. And it's just that fast on the download. It's done it. So we well, will, we will go to going. Downloads. Confirm download. Did I not get it all? It's not done. Yet. Oh yeah. Okay. Here it comes on the bottom. It's still coming in. There we go. And I am going to just. Does everybody know how to refresh a page? No. Only when it says refresh. Okay. There's two ways to do it. Okay. You can go up to the bar up top here, and you can right-click, or no, wait a minute, too, no, too far up, too too far up. up. Uh, it or down in inside the page here somewhere. You can do right-click somewhere here, and it will say refresh. Yeah. Okay. The other way to do it is just open the open the page, make sure that it's active. Now. This install, this uh, downloaded malware bytes, and it put it somewhere in this page that I can't find it. You didn't go all the way down the page, though. Yeah, but down. I don't, I don't have to, oh. because I've told this page always show me that on the top the last download I did. Yeah. But to do that in this case, because I had the page open, I have to refresh the page. F five. Press F5 and it refreshes the page. Only um only uh, internet browsers have this actual circle for refresh button. The actual um, all programs would either need to be right clicked and hit refresh or F5. F5. Okay. Yeah. F5 is uh, works on just about every Windows program that there is. If if uh, you don't see the change you just made in the page, F5. It refreshes the page, it will show you your change. Okay, anyway, here we go. MB3 setup. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and load this. It wants me to tell it that yes, I, it's me. It's going, to, it's going to set in English. And here we go with the next. Okay. Now I'm going to go slowly here because I haven't done malware bytes in a while. It may want me to do something I don't want to do. So we're going to read everything. So we'll do next. Well, there's the EULA, the user license agreement. We say okay to that. In different kinds of software, in the user license agreement in this window, it will say something like, we've noticed that you've downloaded this program to install. We think you might like uh, 30 other programs. It will be in this window. That may or, or may not some, be Japanese. Yeah, it, it, or it will be some there, somewhere there with check boxes. Uncheck the boxes. And... This is just the changes. 
yeah, this is telling you what the changes are going to be in your computer. This is telling you where it will install because it's going to install it as a program. It's not standalone. And it's going to put a shortcut in the start menu. So here we are at next. And it's telling me also that it wants to create a desktop shortcut. Let's go ahead and do that too. And now it's it's got its complete instruction set on what it wants to do. Download or uh, install it in program files, uh, make a menu folder in the startup of uh, Malwarebytes and create a desktop um, a desktop shortcut. We'll install Ta -da. Almost ta-da. <laughs> okay. At this point, it's finished. Now, yes. Now it, this will it only last. Pop this window up. Real-time protection means that uh, every time that your computer starts, it will start real-time protection of malware bytes. Good for 30 days. Yeah, this is what the premium of Malwarebytes does. This is the premium. It's giving you 30 days for free of the premium service. You don't need it. On my XP, I get that to come up and it gives it to me where it just wants. I've always had it. Yeah, well, you can turn it off. I'm going to show you how. Okay, but you don't need that. You don't need it. So we're going to, we're just going to, um, <coughs> Turn this off. And updates are not current. So we want, uh, I'm going to say finish here. And so we want to um, check for updates. Now you'll do, you'll do this every time you start Malwarebytes by itself. Okay. You'll check for updates. <laughs> Okay, so it's done its updates, um, and it's turned a bunch of stuff on in Malwarebytes, and it's telling you you're not fully protected because you have not done a scan. So we'll tell it to scan now. Yeah, and it's it, this quick is not scan. a quick scan. Well, it is a quick scan, but it's not looking quick. in all of the likely places. This may take any anywhere from ten to forty minutes, yes. depending on the size of your hard drive and how much crapola you've got on it, because it's going through everything. Yep, and if you have a terabyte with a terabyte filled amount of hard drive, it's going to take all day. You're, <laughs> you're going to be there a while. Yeah. But. Um, so it's going through everything here. Um, the biggest thing yeah, is that in the pre-scan operations, it scanned the memory and it scanned the startup files and it scanned the registry right away. And it found one thing it didn't like. So you can view that identified item and see what it is it didn't like. It's a pup. And let's see where it is, what it is. Oh. The A Shampoo Marketplace icon. It doesn't like that icon. And here okay, because that, was, that icon will do stuff that Malwarebytes may not like. It'll do stuff. It's perfectly safe. I never use the icon. But you know what? It, in the grand scheme of things, after his, everything is said and done, that icon will be removed by Malwarebytes. And so it's, so it's scanning the file system uh, now. Like I said, this is going to take a while. Is um, it bad to have, I have about 30 threats you have done a lot. Um, over the course of a couple of weeks, yeah, that can happen. And I say quarantine, is that all right? Yep, quarantine is what you want to do. So it's scanning the file system, and it's going to find everything it doesn't like in the file system in all of the places that it knows about that malware can hide. When it's done that, it's going to do what's called a heuristic analysis. 
And that's your, how you said that word. Yeah, that's how you said it. <laughs> um, and a heuristic uh, simply means like. Not like as, boy, I do I ever like this. Nearly the same as is a heuristic. You mean a similar? Yes, yeah, similar or nearly the same as is a heuristic. Okay. How do you spell that? What, heuristic? Yeah, I've never heard it before. Well, it's telling you that it's going to do it. You don't have to, to tell it. It's the last thing on the list. So it will go through the file system again and look for programs that might be nearly a malware. It's looking for stuff that does things like a malware would do them. Okay? Or it goes, um, typically what it does, if it's not sure about something, it will throw it in there. And All right. scan it there and then it, here it's, it. It's doing the heuristics now. And more See? And so it's found two. Okay? And the second one we'll have a look at. Um, now you don't have to have a look at these things. Um, by themselves. Let me see if I can get it to show me what it is. It's in downloads. But you use the time. time. Well, I want to see what it is. Image burn. Yeah. Okay. It's found a program in downloads that might be similar to a malware. Um, now, now because it's not sure about it, it's unchecked, so you can say... Yeah, it found that as part of the heuristics look at. Image burn is a program I use for special kinds of burning to disk. It didn't check it off because it's not sure. And I'm going to leave it that way because I don't want it to disable this program. I want this program on this PC. Now, 90% of the time, malware bytes will do what is correct. 95% of the time. And you can just say quarantine selected and um, I'm going to tell it always ignore because I know that that program is good. It's a program I want. So, there it is. Malwarebytes is all done. And um, it's in... It's telling you now that it's in the premium trial stage. Okay? You can buy it if you want. It's 25 bucks a year. They put the price up. But you don't need to run it every couple of weeks, and you are fine. But if you don't want it to uh, nag you anymore, you can turn this off in, um, I believe it's settings. We'll see here. Notify me when full version updates are... No, wait. Uh... No. Let's see. Well, I don't see where it is here. Unless it's my I, account. I, I know you can turn off. Unless it's right there. Deactivate yes, down. there we go. I know if you looked around it for it long enough, you can deactivate, yeah, here, deactivate premium trial. Which is in settings and my account. Yeah, if you have the latest version. If you don't, um, it, it will be in there somewhere. And it's, I've touched it, so it says, are you sure you want to do this? And in my case, it's yes. Okay, trial expired. Now, um, like I said, if you want to buy it, it's 25 bucks a year. 
but I don't recommend it. What's the advantage of the upgraded version? Um, it, real time. So you don't have to, it's mainly just the real time protection. Um, it acts more like an antivirus instead of a program Before that you just scan. It goes into your now, here's the thing. Maybe yes and maybe no. I have seen malwares that are able to, to turn off the malware bytes real time protection. Okay? They'll go through the computer, turn this stuff off before they install themselves. Okay? So. Little devils. <laughs> yeah, little devils. Um, and so, for that rare occasion, that's going to get into your computer and, and turn off malware bytes. You've paid 25 bucks for something that don't work. Okay? So running malware bytes all by itself every couple of weeks or when you suspect a problem is the way to go. Um, save yourself the 25 bucks. Well, what's the difference between this and the ADW that you just did? This is an installed program. Okay, it's installed itself on the computer. ADW Cleaner is a standalone program. It does not install itself. So why do I need this then? Because ADW will only get the big stuff that's gonna that's gonna get your computer or uh, out of control right away. Okay, so you use ADW if you've got some really bad problem that you can't get malware bytes to run. ADW Cleaner is what you need to use. And uh, if you think of it in uh, cleaning a car, ADW is just like, oh, I'll just take a rag and... It's an outer wash. An outer okay. wash. Well, um, malware bites is, I'm going to wax it and shine it pretty. And <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> hey, good analogy. That's the way to think of it. Okay, so there you go. There's those two programs. Um... Any questions about malware bytes? Yes. Every now and then it'll come up with update 3.02. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Go ahead and do that update because that's going to change the program to what you just saw. Okay, it goes through the, it goes through the download. The next time I boot up, it, it will, and it, it's going to ask you, uh, do you want to upgrade to 3? You click OK. It will make the download. It will make the install all by itself. You won't have to go through the install process. It should make it all by itself. And then you're going to be upgraded to what you just saw. Okay, but why does it come up again in a couple of days and say there's upgrades available? Um, Did you? Malwarebytes actually updates its database every... Every time you use it. Pretty much every like three, yeah. and so if, three days. If, you've, if you're one. using Malwarebytes in real time, Okay, it wants to upgrade its database every single time you use it. In other words, every single time you load or you start the computer. All right, you can tell it to bypass that, but yes. If you get something really bad in there, malware bytes is involved and you can't use it. Can you can you use your downloads? Could your downloads be? And completely frozen too? Um, and it's it's unlikely. That's one of the reasons why I I um, recommend that you have more than one web browser. Yeah. The reason being that uh, if you're using uh, Microsoft Edge or, or uh, Internet Explorer, and you get something that messed up Edge or in Explorer. The odds are pretty good that it didn't get at Chrome. If it messes up Chrome, the odds are pretty good that it did not get at um, Edge or Explorer. The other thing that can be done here, because this program does not install, is you can install it on a thumb drive from another computer and just simply run it. And once you've done that, it will take care of that 80, 90 percent of the big problems that are stopping you from getting a working computer going. Now, one other thing about uh, ADW Cleaner. Um, every week or so, it will have an upgrade that um, the old version that you have in downloads 
won't work. So you can go to download, you can click on ADW Cleaner, and it will say, oh, you're out of date. Redownload the new version. You must do that. It will not allow you to continue until that's done. Okay? Any other questions, ADW or malware? Yes. So if I put it on a thumbware thing, if it's outdated, that thing becomes no good then. Yes, yeah, you have to download it again from another computer. But yes. this is a rescue thing. It's rescuing a computer that's so badly messed up you can't use it. Or it's almost impossible to use. Oh, so it's not something I would use once a month. No, no, no. Malware, that's what malware bites is for. This is a rescue item. Okay? And believe me, sometimes you do need to get rescued. Okay. More questions. Malware bites, ADW cleaner. Yes. A program called System Mechanic. And uh, that should be okay to use, basically. Yes, yeah. System Mechanic is okay. Uh, when did you get it? I've had System Mechanic now for about four years. Yeah, yeah. Did you pay for it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, System Mechanic is okay. Um, if, you do, if you don't want to pay for it again, I wouldn't, because there are uh, other programs out there um, that are just as good and for free. The thing about System Mechanic is that in... Um, Windows Vista and the early stages of Windows 7. These two operating systems were not very good about repairing themselves. Windows 10 has overcome 90% of those problems. If, it sees, if Windows 10 sees something in its setup that it doesn't like or it can't use or something that's broken, it will repair it without even telling you. Okay? That's one of the the grand things about Windows 10 that everybody likes, it, except for me, it, it destroyed my business. Okay? Well, that, and we were just yeah. so good at repairing them in the yeah. first place. It, it, it virtually destroyed my business. The later versions of Windows 7 and Windows 10 are really good about repairing themselves. So, um, there you go. I mean, that's... Um, that's just the way it is. Um, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. I've got slimline cleaner. What is that? Slimline cleaner is another one of those cleaners that uh, um, um, fixes up registry mistakes, so they say, um, and um, might delete empty folders, so they say, and essentially. Uh, make it all prettified. So they say. <laughs> tell, um, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you how I really feel about it. <laughs> some, of, <laughs> some of these programs tread very lightly. They don't want to mess you up. They don't want an angry customer or an angry consumer. Some of them are re are really radical in what they do, and it can um, find false positives of these bad mistakes and either delete them, destroy them, change them. If it does that in a false positive way, it's made a brick. It's bricked your computer because it changed stuff it shouldn't have touched. This can happen unless you know what you're looking at when you go through the log file. So something that, something that is um, treads lightly, okay, it's going to prettify. Maybe it will make this, that, or the other thing run just a couple of thousandths of a second quicker. <laughs> but for some of these other ones that uh, uh, really do they can really do harm by changing false positives or finding false positives 
and changing your computer when no change should be made. That can happen. So yeah, some of these, they're fine. If it hasn't wrecked your computer so far, happy times. <laughs> Anything else? I have a question about events. They want to do something, increase service or something, and they keep flashing this week. Yeah, and they, they want you to pay for it. <laughs> I resume. I just kick it off. Yeah, you just keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> if, if something is nagging you, it wants money. <laughs> yes? Um, do you want to speak about the magnifier on the computer? At the end of the class. We'll oh, talk I'm about sorry, it. Sorry, yeah. I thought you were asking no. for... No, no. Yeah, Wait, yeah, James has still got to talk about Windows device. Defender. And so if there are no other questions about... Yes? What would make everything on the screen flip upside down? <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think you didn't do it. Here, let okay. me show you. <laughs> Windows 10? Windows 7? 10. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't mind I screw up your computer, right? No. No, we're not going to do that. You go to display settings. And somewhere in there, Hold on. Uh, the orientation. Um, I'll find it. Yeah. No, but that's. Oh, it might be under display. No, it was on display. Yeah. yeah. It used to be you just right click it. Wait. I think I. I think. I think I know the. Uh, I think it's Windows Alt. There. No. Alt. I know. Oop. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> okay. I don't want him to tell you. You don't want to know. Oh. Okay. There we go. All right. So, it, it, is your is it actually upside down still? I got it back. Okay. Yeah. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> what he did. All right. No more of this crap, Ola. No showing any I want I want you in here to tell the folk about Windows Defender. You no, know, I'll tell you guys what. When it gets close to April Fool's Day, I'll tell you how to like trick trick the uh, mess with someone's computer in such a way where it will fool them. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you how to be a jokester. <laughs> okay. Um, that's pretty much that. Um, Windows Defender. Tag. You're it. Oh, God. You saved the one I have no clue about. <laughs> I was hoping to do my word bites, but okay. <laughs> Good old Defender. Um, Windows Defender, if it will open for me, please. Uh, anyone who's been our client for a long time and we fixed your computers uh, or gave you a computer um, way back in the day with Windows XP and 7 and Vista. Uh, you would have, we would give you a program called Microsoft Security Essentials. Mm -hmm. That's what Windows Defender is. <laughs> no, no more. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> um, Windows Defender has been around f since Windows XP, but it's been very bad in its things. It's normally used for uh, firewalls and, and stuff. Uh, but with the Microsoft Security Essentials, starting at Windows 8, they turned it into Windows Defender. So your com it, it is a antivirus program, um, which is different than malware. Well, it does some. It, it does uh, a lot of malware now. Where it, even in Windows 8, it didn't do that. But in Windows 10, they've they punched it up big time to do malware and antivirus. So Why can't you do this once? 
I don't know anything about Windows Defender, other than it used to be Microsoft Security Essentials. Keep going. Um, so, if you get a new computer or a fresh install of Windows, uh, you will have this automatically. Um, it's just as good as uh, Avast or Norton, uh, TrendNet. It, but it's free, and you get it automatically. It essentially um, will update. Um, you can update the definitions. The last time this was updated was an hour ago, I think. Yeah, an hour ago. So it's probably full, fully updated. So you can do quick, full, or custom scans. Uh, I would just stick to quick scans. But you would just hit scan now. It doesn't take that long. I don't know what it searches through. Just registry or? <coughs> the likely places. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is more for um, some malware. It won't get a a um, most of the things that Malwarebytes gets. But um, it's mainly for viruses that you get from, like, emails and whatever other viruses come from and it's almost done but Windows Defender you don't need to get a antivirus um, if you do if you do get an antivirus um, it will automatically turn off Windows Defender it um, because Windows, well, Microsoft knows that two antiviruses going at, uh, on at the same time causes a bad day for you. As both of them don't like one another, in the most part. So they'll always f say that, oh, this program's a virus because it's a com competitor for, for me. Um, before that... Didn't used to be the case. Windows Defender would uh, stay open. Oh, sweet. No threats. Perfect. Um, so Windows Defender icon is uh, the Windows shield. It looks like the Windows logo is the shape of a kite shield. Uh, if you like medieval weapons and know what that is. Um... So, it, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking at this point. Are you stuck? Yes. Take what, over? What am I talking about? Take sure. Over? Sure, I guess. All right. I can't think straight, man. That spicy food's yeah. killing me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> You're not feeling well, okay. You want it. I want this. You have that. Yeah, everyone has it. Well, anyone who has Windows 10 has it. Windows 10, yeah. And Windows yes. 8. Do you play cancel the other antivirus program that will defend or come up automatically? We're going to talk about that right now. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to go in and tell it to turn itself on. Um, let us just say that you have um, a VAST. Mm -hmm. uh, Windows Defender will turn itself off if you are running a VAST or any other uh, antivirus that you might have. It's going to turn itself off because, as James said, when um, uh, the operating system knows that you should not be running two antiviruses at the same time. Yeah. It knows that now. Um, and so if you uninstall do a complete uninstall of Norton or Avast or any of the others, then um, Windows Defender should turn itself on. But if it does not, it will tell you that I cannot turn myself on. I don't know why it will do that, but it will do that. So in that case, you have to go to the control panel, which is...
and you will have to go to uh, security. Security and maintenance. Windows Defender. I would yeah, say. Windows Defender. Nope. <laughs> or maybe it's inside. Well, if it's if it's turned off, yeah. If it's turned off, the real time protection will be off, and it will not have updated. So if it's turned off, it will give you a checkbox to say "Turn me on," and it will try its best to turn itself on. The other way that um, you're going to have a better result is that if you uninstall an old antivirus and you restart the computer, the computer should say, oh, I can't find an antivirus anymore, let's turn on Windows Defender. And that should work 95% of the time. Sometimes things get messed up and it won't work. But um, no, there's nothing in here that uh, will do it for us. So in Windows, uh, in um, in Windows Control Panel, you will attempt to turn on Windows Defender from there. If it's not going to turn, if it hasn't turned itself on by itself. Um, now something I should mention. Um, about the computer saying uh, that it can't find the antivirus. Um, don't panic all the time that uh, it pops up as um, the computer has a certain list to go through and the check for an antivirus is like the fourth uh, thing on the list. Well, Actually, turning on the antivirus is like the 30th. It's the last thing that I, I don't know why, yeah. but they're like, hey, let's check first before we turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In, in Windows 7 and sometimes in Windows 8, you'll see that as, as a little balloon up above your, your icons here on the lower right. Uh, as you're booting the computer up, it will pop up a little balloon saying, I can't find my antivirus. That's James's. It's looked the fourth or fifth thing in the list. Uh, check for it, but if it's not turned on, it's checking against nothing it can find, and so it will give you that. At, um, after the computer is fully booted, you should be able to see that it that your antivirus is turned on. Yes, anybody? I'm sorry. I had a friend when she bought Windows 10, and she was silly enough to wait till she had to buy it. They gave her a year's worth of Norton with it, but because she's always had a vast, she downloaded a vast as well, thinking she's get double the protection. I suggested she wasn't, but she's <laughs> not, is she? Well, you can show her this video and tell her that this professional here says you've not got double the protection. In fact, you may have none. Norton hates everybody. Yeah. Yeah. In in fact, you may have none. It may have turned off every. To be honest, we we hate Norton just because it is such a resource hog that it will make the fastest computers run on its knees, <laughs> and it's a pain in the rump to actually get rid of. We try we've tried to get rid of it like five times at one with one client. Yeah, uh, and sometimes you, you have to download a special program from Norton <laughs> to get rid of Norton. Um, and they don't tell you that the program is readily available. They hide it. Yeah. Why not? How do we, like, a little message pops up and you didn't catch it. How do we get it back? Uh, in, in, um, in Windows 10, right on the taskbar here, the very far uh, right over here, yeah. you'll see uh, what looks like a little sheet, and in this case it's showing you a three. That means there's three messages there. And oh, okay. if so it's yeah. called Action Center. Yeah. Now you can get to Action Center, I believe, yeah. uh, from Control Panel. Let me just have a look. Action Center. Mm, I don't see it. No. Used to be, used to be in there. But uh, that little icon over there on the, the very far right 
That's called Action Center. It will show you all of the recent things that it's done or that might need to be taken care of. Windows Defender will tell you in there that it's time yeah. to scan. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, while we're here, I am going to uh, show you one thing. I showed you this a while ago. I'm going to show you again in case it ever happens. You'll know what happened and how to get out of it. Everybody, close your eyes right now. Just close your eyes. Everybody, just close your Thank eyes. Like happy puppies. Yeah, yeah. Your eyes are closed. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> okay, you can open them now. Now, what have I done here? <laughs> we don't know. We weren't watching. <laughs> I wasn't watching either. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> there we go. What have I done? No, I have turned this computer into tablet mode. Okay. Which, why is it a thing if we don't have a touch screen? Just throwing that out there. <laughs> so I've turned it into tablet mode. Um, hey, that's great if you're running around on a tablet just doing email and a quick surf on the web. Or have a touch screen. But in, yeah, and have a touch screen. But if your computer ever comes up like this, and it's easy to do, it's easy to make this mistake, you touch something. What you want to do is over here on the far right where you have your notification center over here, you want to click on that. And it will bring up your action center. And you now know that you are in tablet mode. And it says tablet mode right there. But if you click on that, it's not in tablet mode anymore. That was one of the easiest things ever. <laughs> and it's the easiest thing ever. And in one of the very first iterations of Windows 8.1, I had a client call me up and say, What happened? It took me two days to figure it out. Nobody told me. And eventually I found out what happened. Well, and it was that me. simple thing. You never asked me. I knew about that. Yes. That is a favorite grandson trick. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I haven't done that. <laughs> Keyword yet. <laughs> I wait for April Fool's Day. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's a. Uh, it it could very well be a favorite juvenile delinquent trick. <laughs> hey, who are you calling juvenile? <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, that's our three. Um, um, ADW Cleaner, which I now know is part of Malwarebytes, and that's a great thing. Hey, even we learned something today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> even I learned something today. Malwarebytes, its things. newest version, uh, go ahead and make that download, but you can also, um, once you've turned off um, um, Malwarebytes, I, let me just start it again here. Um, Okay, um, after you've done Malwarebytes and it's downloaded and installed this new version, you may find, and you've gone through and looked for this setting that says, uh, I don't want the full-on activation, okay? The other thing that you'll have down here that may not want to go away is a, an icon for Malwarebytes in your taskbar. If you if you click if you right click on that item malware bytes it may have a check mark start with Windows uncheck that uncheck that start with Windows because if it starts with Windows it's going to want to make a download and it will bug you about hey I'm doing a download uh, okay. 
if you don't want to do that every time it starts, uncheck that start with Windows. And you get to that by simply right clicking on the Malwarebytes icon and it will give you that prompt. Am I okay with the old, perhaps a little older Malwarebytes? <coughs> It's working fine. I mean, do I need to go to the it, it may tell you at some point um, to do it. To, that you have to yeah. um, because it's no longer going to, to talk to the servers it needs to talk to. Uh, they may go offline in the old version. I can wait till that, I guess. You can, I suppose. All right, 2 o'clock, folks. Thanks so very much for coming, and I'll get this online as quickly as I can. That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.